Hi, I'm George Hussey from Automobile Atlanta, and today we're going to do a tour of James Dean's 550 Replica Spider. When the recent BAT auction happened and his transaxle from his original Spider that he wrecked while on the way to the races sold for $380,000, we figured with the enthusiasm like that, we should have bought one of these. So I did. I had known about this car for three or four years, and I knew that the gentleman had spent a lot of time, research, and money trying to exactly duplicate the original car. And here is what we have. We have an absolutely original car down to the frame, the chassis, the brakes, the transaxle like we talked about, even taking off the turn signal lens because as you can see in his last ride here at the gas station there was no turn signal lens on his car he may have knocked it off the day before or we don't we will never know that's for sure but in duplicating this car the only thing different is the fact that instead of having a Carrera engine in it it has a 356 SC engine in it and it has a fiberglass body the frame is a duplicate frame the Carrera aluminum brakes are the same the Carrera front oil cooler up here is the same the Hella headlamp assemblies are the same the script is exactly the same the 130 that James Dean put on the car is the same the aluminum fuel filler is the same the hood locks are the same the aero mirror the windshield all exactly the same in fact if you looked at this car you would think it would be the original car. It is so exact. The people who duplicated this car took an original 550 and exactly molded it from that car and they only made four of these. This is not a stretch. This is an exact dimension car that duplicates the original in every single way except, like I said, the fiberglass body and the SC engine. You can see in the rear it has the tail stripes, the original tail lamp assemblies, the little bastard that James Dean put on his car, a duplicate original license plate, and again the 130 in the background. Also the single exhaust outlet. And if we go up underneath, I'll show you the gas tank and the engine compartment. I've undone the original leather straps, again, an exact duplication of the original, and I'm lifting up the rear hatch. The first thing we would notice is that the holding arm is Porsche issue here. It is just like the old 356 front and rear hinges. It, it locks on its own. You don't want to push it down. You want to lift it first. Original 16-inch wheel, date stamped, of course, with the factory-looking cover the leather holding strap, the dual coils, you can see the dual ignition coils, SC engine, not a Carrera engine, the Carrera engines probably are 300,000 by themselves, but a true Porsche 356 64 SC engine, the oil tank, uh, the original Coney shocks with the wing on them, exhaust, four into one, original s aluminum belly pan up underneath as well, dual grills, and split case original transmission. Too bad we don't have a uh, transmission with it has a few numbers off. Maybe we could have had the James Dean transmission in here, but of course that didn't happen. Even the hood pins duplicate the original. So going to the interior, we have the 6,000 RPM red line tack original light ivory steering wheel, light ivory turn signal switch, original factory switches as well with the ignition switch, headlight switch, duplicate shifter and duplicate emergency brake. All of this is just the way it was in James Dean's car. And then you can see the rubber floor pan covering and the aluminum passenger pull handle. If we go over to the door, we can see the original 
leather strap that holds it and the original also 356 door latch catches. All of this was very, very light and uh, aluminum <clears throat> so that we would have as the least weight for racing. And this car itself with the engine in it weighs 1600 pounds. So you can imagine with a virtual 100 horsepower engine that this car will certainly get up and go. And quite the car to drive for the fact that you're out in the wind, your head is over the windscreen, so you get all the sensation of speed and noise and the environment passing you by a mile a minute or so it seems. So I'm going to open the hood next. This is a, exactly originally the way the hood opened on the original car. Not much to see up under here, but it does have a genuine Carrera gas tank and it has dual circuit master cylinder with the centrally located battery. Obviously, this is a fuel sending unit and this nice original factory aluminum gas filler. So in conclusion, we are very, very happy to have this almost exact replica of the original James Dean 550. A tremendous display piece. We'll have it in our showroom for one and all of you to come and see and a sensation at any car show. Thanks for watching. George Hussey, Automobile Atlanta.